Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm taking a break from trying to catch up on the videos that I had already filmed because um, I've had my Ipsy for over a week and I got Macy's like way long time ago but I was waiting for Ipsy and then life happened and I was trying to do grade finals and then I just was done like complete burnout. Um, I'm trying to like get out of that funk, but man, 2022 has been rough and just, I don't know, like this year has hit harder. I think it's because I was teaching uh, extra class both semesters. So it just felt like really hard. And then like all the stuff with the house and like just things with people too. Um, it's so stupid because I don't know these people, but like, some of them hit really hard, like from my childhood, Angela Lansbury. Every time something else came up, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. Like, you know, she's Mrs. Potts, but she was Mame. Like, that's one of my favorite Broadway shows ever. And somebody posted about that and I was like, oh my God. So every time that happened, it was just hitting a little harder. And then like losing uh, Robbie Coltrane Hagrid that same week, like that, that, that made it really hard to like just trying to keep up with things. And then Twitch. Um, I'm a huge So You Think You Can Dance fan. I didn't watch the last season because um, I don't like JoJo. I'm sorry. Her personality has annoyed me since she was on Dance Moms. But like uh, I've watched So You Think You Can Dance from the first episode. Like I was in dance camp and we would have like watch parties during dance camp to watch So You Think You Can Dance. Twitch was such an outstanding dancer. Allison, his wife, um, like she was my favorite female dancer in season two. Like, I, and I follow both of them and, you know, and seeing the dance community and everybody, like dancers that I know that knew him, um, but also like dancers that I admire and I follow and, um, the heartache everywhere so that kind of just hit really hard and I was trying to carry on and I just I'm I didn't get things edited I I'm like what is going on when I'm like editing my videos I'm like you <laughs> I don't want to watch my videos why does somebody else want to watch my video um so I do have a couple more videos that I'm going to get up after this and then hopefully get back on schedule. So let's start. This is supposed to be Ipsy and Macy's and I just talked for three minutes almost. So let's start with Ipsy. The bag this month is pretty cute. It is orange and pink. Uh, I'm, I'm losing daylight as well. So I did not, I got my card this month. It doesn't have anything on it, so it's it's one of those worthless cards. And then I opened the first thing. I didn't open it, but I saw highlighter all over this packaging, and I was like, oh, no. So I opened it, I took pictures, and I sent it in. Um, so this was one of the items I was supposed to get. This is Sophie and Mabel. Um, it is the Too Pretty. It's a champagne toast highlighter and bubbly blush. I will open this so that Thought I cleaned all of the highlighter out. I did not. Um, so there's a blush. I think I might just try to pan this. I'm going to try this blush and see if I like it. And then I'll just like, this might be my blush to pan this semester. Um, so it's, it's a mess. I did contact Ipsy. They sent a replacement. I just got it uh, just before I sat down to film. So this is what they sent me as my replacement. I was like, really? It felt like there was nothing in the envelope. Like I looked at the envelope and I was like, there's nothing to this. So they sent me a peak uh, eyeshadow. This is an I Will Stay Naturally Long Wearing Eyeshadow and Wednesday. And it's really hard to open. And when I got it, I already got my finger in it. And I was like, dang it, I don't want this shade e anyway. There you go. Um, you can barely tell that I did. So I'm going to pass this along. I don't need a purple eyeshadow. Um, I, I'm not, I'm trying to get away from single shadows because I never reach for them. And I had like an entire container of them that I just never used. So that was kind of disappointing that that was my replacement because I don't feel they're comparable, you know? 
Um, and yes, I'm going to try to use half of this product, but like, man, that it was a little disappointing. The next thing I got was from Christoph Robin. This is the uh, cleansing purifying scrub. And I'm sorry, I don't have prices for these because th th they didn't send me that thing. Oh, this one, this had a seal on it. I didn't realize that. It smells okay. I do like scalp scrubs and I was using them earlier this year and then life happened and school started and I stopped using them, but I do want to go back to using them. So this, this is honestly probably going to use maybe one, maybe two if I'm lucky, I will get a second use out of that one. So that one's okay. Um, the third thing I got was from Bella Pierre. This is the uh, 1999 four color eyeshadow palette. I don't want a 1999 eyeshadow. I lived through 1999. Um, and these are not colors I'm going to, I'm not, they're good size pans. Like they're, you know, a good size pan. I will say that. Um, but no, uh, I, I like purples, but not that much purple. Like I have a little, you know, this is the mauve palette from Huda. It's going to be in a four for four or monthly palette thing coming up at some point, but no, I'm not excited about that palette. I'm not a big fan of Elizabeth or Bella Pierre. Like, I don't think they're that great either. And then I have from Half Caked, this is a shader brush. It's a small shader. And actually this is probably a good brush for me to have. I need to start using smaller brushes, I'm sure. Um, this is the 128, so this is okay. I will eventually use that. And then, oh, this is covered. I think everything is covered got it on the outside now I have mm. yeah there's an I'm gonna have to try to clean that out too this is a Luna magic lip liner and bestios and it looks like a nice color okay yeah I'll probably use this I used up an entire lip liner and then I kind of stopped because I brought just ones that need to be sharpened and I was not in the sharpening life so um because this I just like threw in my purse and I'd line my lips like at a stoplight, <laughs> you know, fill them in. And then I just put a lip balm over them. And that's what I did a lot this last semester. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. Um, for $15, cause $13 plus $1.99 shipping or a handling fee. Sorry. I'm not super excited. Uh, I would probably be a little more excited if that blush and highlighter hadn't been broken, but the highlighter looked a little too dark for me anyway, so mm, I don't know. And my highlighter is looking a little funky today. I, I did the Kat Von D uh, Alchemist palette, so that's where we are this the, right now. Uh, then we have Macy's, and Macy's this month has a 10 off of 40. We'll see if this works. I got the advent calendars and the one advent calendar I took it out of the box and went to use it I took it out especially to use it um and it it said it had already been used and I was like so I need I contacted them on Facebook messenger which they're usually pretty good and they didn't respond so now I need to like dm them on uh Instagram I guess because I didn't go through with that purchase because I was like I'm not if I don't get the ten dollars off I'm not putting the purchase in uh this month the, instead of a bag, we got the reusable silicone face mask cover. Um, I'm not going to use this. I, I know myself. I'm not, I'm not going to use that. Uh, it's an extra step. Like I'll stick a mask on my face, but I'm not going to stick something that I'm going to then have to wash or rinse off. No, I, I'm lazy and there's only so many things I can handle at a time. So, uh, yes, the pink tissue paper is over there. Let's get through, um, I don't think that probably has a price on it. It does not. Okay. So first up is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the cucumber gel mask. Not my favorite. Um, I actually have been passing along all of my cucumber masks. This man, um, this was not supposed to be in here. I was supposed to have the, uh, new active purple pore refining mask, which would have been awesome. And I don't, I remember getting a little thing that said I was getting something different. Um, so the other one was supposed to be 55. I would have much rather have had that one. I'm, I don't like this mask. I know other people do, but okay. I'm in a bad mood now. Um, 
Purity made simple by philosophy. This is a solid cleanser. The full size retails for 25. I've gone through many of these full sizes and minis over the years. It's a, it's a nice cleanser. I will take it. I will use it. Um, not the most exciting thing. Then we have Unite 7, seven Seconds Detangler Leave-In Conditioner. That's fine. That's a something practical and useful. It retails for $32.50. Wow. I wonder how much a full size is. Um, that's a little more than I pay for stuff. Like if I'm going to pay that much, I'm going to get it's a 10, but okay. Okay. Uh, Ahava. I love this. This, oh, this is a body lotion. Not nearly as exciting as the hand cream. This retails for $31 for a full size. That seems like a lot, um, for a lotion. I won't be purchasing that. Then we have Dolce & Gabbana light blue for, uh, Home and Femme. I know that's not how you say. Uh, pour femme and um, so these retail the female version retails for 86 it's a nice scent it's not one I felt like compelled to go out and purchase I have flankers of it that I've gotten way on sale and I've gone through like a travel spray of this but yeah and then the male version is 74 I'll be passing along that male version what else do I have in here I have a Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Youth Power Creme. This retails for $95 for full size. I have some of these because I got the big Estee Lauder gift set. Um, and then we have, the last thing in here is from Clarins. Is this the same? Oh, Super Restorative Day Cream. Okay, this retails, this is supposed to be new and it's supposed to retail for $129 for full size. So I won't be buying the full size. I can tell you that because that's more than I'm going to spend. Uh, and that's what the little sample size looks like next to the box. The box is always much bigger. Together, that's what it's supposed to look like. That's what the Peter Thomas Roth looked like, which is kind of cool. And that's what it looked like there. I would have really liked that. Like that, that would have made like Macy's hit it through the roof for me. I feel like this is a good solid one. Um, things that I'll actually use, like I'll use the light glue sample, the the one. Um, I'll use the cleanser. I'll use the leave-in. I'll use the body lotion. I'll use the two moisturizers, which is good for December. Like it's cold. You need more moisturizer. This is the only thing I won't use. And, and the mask. Like it's nice to have this like with the mask, I guess, but mm, no. So let me know if you get Ipsy or Macy's. Did you have any issues with your Ipsy this month? Did you, um, get some good stuff. Let me know down below. Let me know which one you think was better. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Hopefully I will get my January boxes up earlier than the very, very end of the month. But, um, it's the holidays. It's, it's the end of the semester. It's life, right? Um, let me know how you're doing. Let me know if you have any, uh, fun plans for the new year coming up. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.